Hello and welcome everyone to Soul Vanguard. Today we are going over the Grand Blue deck profile. Hope you guys are having an amazing day and let's get straight into the deck profile. Um, so for the starter we normally use which was like you just write on him and you draw a card which is everything common for every single clan. Now for our grade 3 boss monsters we play King of Demonic 6 Baskirk. This is a really good card. Um, it will it will get power and also will let you call cards and get more power. It will get it will get really amazing. Like it will hit with the two crits and basically just just our optimal right target. Not much to say about it. Now we play our main finisher. Could be our main finisher, which is Skull Dragon. Um, you cannot call him normally. Um, you have to call him from any anywhere else. But when you call him, it will get plus two thousand for your cards from your um, drop zones, and it will get a massive beat stick. But once it attacks, you have to retire it, which is completely obvious. It's all right, but it's a gigantic beat stick, and it will help you to finish the game. Now our one grade three, which is uh, could be useful in some matchups, could not be, but um, it is Violence Flanger. Um, this is the card when you discard something and whatever the grade you discarded, their opponent call, cannot call that grade to the Guardian Circle. It could be really useful when you're playing against some clans that is like, okay, I have this... Uh, if you know that the person has like particular amount of cards in hand and you know the, what kind of grades they are, you can just do that and it will get a massive... I will help you to like a block your um, it will help you to block th against those numbers so it's pretty good um, now for our grade twos we play MVP of the deck which is Ruin Shade um, which is amazing art uh, every single card in Grand Blue has an amazing art this, I love it um, so this card will let you mill faster think of it as an engine of your deck it will start milling your cards and will make um, Basker can it will make for Skull Dragon hit for a huge numbers like all scar work together to make your drop zone uh, much much bigger than when you ride your grade threes so it will be helpful to finish your opponent quickly as possible of course it's an MVP um, so four of now we play um four of Captain Nightmist uh, this is also a good card which lets you call, like, you can count plus one and call a grade one or less, but if you have ten or more cards in your trap zone, you can call any card. You can combine it with some of the cards and call out, like, you can chain call, basically, from your drop zone. Um, and at the end, your end target would be your Skull Dragon. This is a good card. And now, we play a draw engine, which is um, Blue Blood. Uh, you retire him. And you can uh, draw two cards and you can discard a card from your hand. And also it will get plus 4,000 if you have another blue blood in your... Uh, plus 4,000 if you have another blue blood in your drop zone. Good card. And now for every single grade one, I feel like they are the engine starters basically. Um, not every single clan has this much amount of great grade ones, but I like this one because they literally start your engine for Grand Blue. So it will make it a lot of easier when your Skull Dragon comes out or your uh, Baskar skill on the on your Vanguard Circle. So which is pretty good. Uh, so for that reason, we play four of the Dandy Guy Romario. Also, engine starter it will let you mill, and also you counter plus one, put up put a card from your hand into the soul, and uh, you can put three cards from. I mean, you mill three cards, and then you can return one card from your drop zone to your hand, which is you can select any card. Um, so not much to say, 4 of course. Now we play 4, no, we play um, 3 of the Norman the Ghosty. Um, retire him and you can give someone plus 10k. Um, make your Skull Dragon huge, make any card that you think that might not hit huge. Like, it's really good. You can retire him and put 2 cards, I mean, you put, again you mill 2 and which it's like also again your engine and also will help you to get, get like give a power and also you retire him so it like literally three cards in your damage zone. Oh sorry drop zone. Now we play for four of the dancing cutlass. Um, you can bind him from your drop zone. 
or I don't know, you can bind it from your drop zone and um, you can counter charge. Yes, it allows you to counter charge and basically you need to have two of them uh, in your drop zone to counter charge and that's why the reason we play four of them because we are making sure that we can get that counter charge often if you run out of it. Now we play two of Evil Shade, uh, Counter Blast 1 and you bind something from your drop zone and you can call that same card from your drop zone. Um, I mean not the same card but the same as name as that unit. So you need to make sure that when whenever you bind a unit you need to have that same copy of the card in your drop zone. Um, it will help you like generate an extra card on your field. So that for that reason we play him. But not that much. Um, haven't seen him being used that much or that often because there are many cards who you can call from drop zone so so yeah but still uh, it's a good card so two of now for our triggers we play um, we play eight crits of course for the boss card because it will get plus critical all the time and also for your skull dragon which will be your massive finisher so if you have a trigger um, this that will help you much more than just getting some other things. Well, it's really explanatory because we only use crits most of the time. And now we have four of the draw PGs, of course. And then we have four of the heal triggers. Um, this deck, which is protect, protect, so which is kind of slow, it builds up. But in this deck, every single interaction matters. You, whatever you do, it will happen it will determine the result of your next turn, so be really careful while playing this deck, and it has a lot of interaction. Um, yeah, but it's a really fun deck, and I really enjoyed playing this deck. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, subscribe for more Vanguard channel, uh, Vanguard content, and I will see you guys in the next video.